Troll bridge. Troll bridge. Dance break. Jam motherfucking day. today I hope you're doing well um, I just wanted to tell you a few things first of all please follow me on Twitter I'd really appreciate it if you are interested in reading any of the books that I wrote one of them is called the monitor I will put a link down below where you can find all of my books I've written two about mine and I've written one um, which just came out it is called again the monitor it is a novel let's see who cares about my website? It's pretty boring. Anyway, guys, another big thing I wanted to share with you is for some reason, people kept asking me to do vlogs. And I am not being humble when I say this. I have no idea why anyone would want to watch a boring ass vlog of my boring ass life. But with that being said, I did make a separate channel. I will link that below where I put up vlogs every day. Honestly, something's wrong with my poppet because they want to watch me being boring. But I I do love you so much and I'm so glad you're here. I wanted to say that this is very serious what I'm getting ready to say. I have had a rough summer and um, those who are really close to me do know that and you will probably learn more about why it's been rough for me. If you go to my vlog channel that is not a ploy for you to go. It's just that I don't want to go all into it here. But YouTube has really helped me a lot. I got away from Vine which was pretty much a toxic environment. I've met so many nice people on YouTube. Um, it has allowed me to share funny stories and just really something to focus on, something new to keep my brain busy. So I want to say thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching and interacting with me. Um, it really does mean a lot to me and I can't thank you enough. So this morning while I was getting ready to start filming, I was doing a Periscope and I somehow got on the subject um, of some friends that I used to have growing up when we were in elementary school and middle school. So for anyone who's already heard this story, I apologize, but I gotta say y'all did ask me to do this video. So here we go. I had two friends in elementary school, middle school. Now by the time we got to like high school, we kind of drifted apart. Um, we never did not not like each other. It's just, you know, when you grow up, you change friends and stuff. These were identical twins. Their names were Pat and Pam, and those are their American names. Their parents were from Thailand. Their dad was a doctor and their mom was a nurse, but once she had kids, she stayed home and take care of the kids. Again, their American names were Pat and Pam. And they had a brother named Pooh. You know, they had long names, hard to pronounce, and so their parents gave them American names. They lived in a really nice house. It was a big Tudor house. Their dad worked hard every day as a doctor. Their mom worked really hard at home, taking care of them, you know, keeping the house clean, keeping their clothes washed. You know, all of the things, you know, feeding them, all of the things that good mothers do. But we had, you know, a great time together. I loved going to their house because their house was big and it was neat and we always just had fun. We were all very creative kids and we really just had a good time together all the time. I was on Periscope this morning and like we were all just talking and stuff. Uh, so in my Periscope I put on formation and like we were just all singing and dancing and having fun together virtually, you know, while I was putting on makeup and stuff. And um, once the song was over I was like, that's it. We're not having fun anymore. It's, we've all had enough fun. It's time to not have fun now. And it's funny how stuff from your childhood just sticks in your brain. And I thought, man, where did that come from? And then I remember that came from Pat and Pam's mom. <laughs> we were all good kids, okay? But Pat and Pam, like, their house was run like clockwork. Very routine oriented. Pat and Pam and Pooh were expected to get A's. Not A minuses, A's in school all the time. Instead of going to summer camp, we would go to Virginia Tech for two weeks in the summer. And I know that sounds insane, but when the college kids were not in school, Virginia Tech would run like a summer camp. And we would go and we would stay in the dorm rooms and we would actually like go to classes. I guess these were like summer classes that students went to or interim classes, but we were like 14 years old. Our parents would drop us off at Virginia Tech. I mean, of course we were being watched. I mean, we had advisors, we had people that watched us and stuff like that, but I mean, for the 
the most part, I, I remember just running around doing what I wanted to do. We would stay in the dorm rooms and we would go to class. Of course, we didn't pay fucking attention in class. We didn't give a shit. My mom dropped me off at camp. But Pat and Pam's parents picked us up from camp. And Virginia takes like four hours away. But when they came to pick us up, there was like an award ceremony to commemorate the end of camp. And they gave out awards to the kids who had gotten like good grades in the classes or who had accomplished whatever in these classes and none of us got any awards we were too busy like whatever 14 year olds do i went back home and my mom was like did you have fun at camp and i was like oh my god i had the best time and i went to call pat and pam to see if like i could go over there and we could play and they were like no we're in trouble i was like what how are you in trouble we, we just got home and they were like mom's mad because we didn't get any awards <laughs> at the ceremony i was like are you serious like what? They were like, yeah, we're, we're in trouble. Anyway, I, I used to go over there all the time. Where I got that thing that I said this morning, all right, that's enough fun for everyone, no more fun. I got that from their mom. She just was so strict and so routine oriented. Like they ate dinner at six o'clock every night. Bam, six o'clock, your ass better be in the house, sitting at the table, eating your dinner. She would cut their hair like regularly and frequently. I mean, she was a great mother. I'm not trying to say she wasn't. It was just funny like how her routines and how stringent she was on stuff. I remember that they would be like, yeah, mom's cutting our hair today. And I'd be like, ooh, I thought you were trying to grow it out. And they're like, mm, mom's cutting it today. And she would like bring them in. They would have to sit at the kitchen counter and like get their hair cut. I, it was so fucking funny, man. I really like no, this makes me sound old and it sounds very cliche, but I worry about the kids today. Like, bro, they don't really have to entertain themselves. They never go outside. They never look up from a screen. They don't know what it's like to just, like, go to their friend's house and find things in the house and create, like, a make-believe world. I mean, we would do stuff like that all the time. We would always, like, just be playing and doing our thing and just out of nowhere all the time. Like, if we were outside playing. Or if we were upstairs in the bedroom playing, wherever their mom was, no exaggeration, this is what she would do. Pat Pam! You come inside! No more fun! You had too much fun today, time to come inside! Never failed. I was like, why is your mom like all the time telling us we've had too much fun? And they're like, Pff. it didn't phase them. They were just so used to it. Like if we were outside, she would just show up like two, three hours later and be like, Pat Pam! Pat Pam, you come inside! No more fun! Too much sunshine! Jennifer, you go home! Too much fun! Too much fun! I don't know if it's a cultural thing, I never understood, but I was always just like, okay, uh, bye. They didn't backtalk her either, man. And they had a dog named Fluffy, and she would always come outside and be like, Fluffy? 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 <laughs> that was a short story about, pow, pow, no more fun! I was always like, hey, your mom said you had to stop having fun now, time to be upset. Get your ass in the house. <laughs> Good times. Good times growing up. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Please check out my vlog channel um, if you wanna see someone being very boring or just living day to day life and complaining about a lot of shit. Um, I hope everyone has a good day. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do videos definitely every Tuesday and Saturday and sometimes I throw in a surprise. Um, please follow me on Twitter and I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you next time. Bye! So I call my mom up and I'm like, uh, hey, did you come to my house today? And she's like, yeah. And I said, okay, um, did you empty my suitcase? And she said, yeah.